Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be playing Dwarf Fortress, which is an exciting game um, that is horribly difficult and involves lots of fun. However, in Dwarf Fortress, fun, fun is something different. Losing is fun. So I've got just a little bit of a starting fortress going here. Like it's nothing yet compared to most people's fortresses. Um, we've got there's an entranceway there, and we're building the storage area. We've got um, our animals down there, and over there we've got our wagon, which is, I believe, currently being uh, deconstructed. Let's see. Uh, yes, it's slated for removal. So I've got my dwarves uh, digging over here. They're very uh, diggy in a good way. After they're done here, I'll have them dig that. Because, you know, digging's good. And I will need a storage space eventually. And I'll build a nice staircase in the middle or something. And then I'll, I guess, build a farm. You know, do all that shit. Build a fortress that will uh, dazzle dwarves long into the ages. Or maybe I'll just tunnel into hell and then die. That's always a possibility with this kind of thing. I mean, what's the point of a game if you can't tunnel into hell? So let's make a uh, stockpile. Oh no, let's see. First I need to dump. What is dump? Um, B? Yes. So I need to dump items. I want to dump all of these. And because I'm at it, and my dwarves have nothing better to do, I want to dump all of those. I want to go uh, pee and make a. Um, no. I need to uh, make a, a zone. That's right, I. I will put my garbage zone right here. Actually, no, I will put it. Whoops, whoop. Losing track of everything here. I'm gonna put the zone right there. And it's going to be a garbage dump. It's all good. I've got a garbage dump. So now my dwarves can start doing whatever shit they do. Because that's what dwarves do. They do shit that dwarves shouldn't do. Weird, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna need to uh let's see. Build a stairway. Oh no, let's remove um, X. X is no I. I is up down stairway. So we're gonna build one of those. We'll just put it there. And then we can dig down. Um, make sure make it so it goes down a floor. I'm just you know, hope I don't screw this up more than I usually do. Now it's gonna be exciting trying to make a farm, but one of my guys has become a miner. What? Okay, I've got two miners. That sounds about right. Hmm. <sighs> this game, this game. So as soon as I've uh, cleared all of this out a little bit more, I will be moving all of my spies into the fortress, and then I'll build a door because doors are good. You know, they keep things that you don't like out. Got a lot of wood going. It's good. Wood's good. Now, what is this? A marmot. Okay, that's fun. Mm, fortress, 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 fortress. Really need to have these guys start building all this. Um, I will create a custom stockpile, which needs a designation. Um, enable everything except corpses, refuse, stone, and uh, wood. We don't really need wood. And then I'll make that go like that. Okay, so now they're gonna hopefully drag all the junk from the wagon up there. Um, let's see. Four. Mm. The only thing about mountains is that it can be awfully hard to make farms, and farming is very important in this game. That being said,
said, we'll find a way. We're dwarves. Dwarves are very uh, ingenious at making farms. Which is odd, because they're dwarves. Let's build up down stairway there, so that we can uh, have excellent access everywhere. Probably uh, that we'll all use that to flood a um, underground cavern that I'll make so I can farm it. Farming's good. Farming is very good. Mm. So what's the best way to do that? That should allow for plenty of expansion of the farm. So, once they finish building all this, well, actually, I don't see much reason to wait. It's gonna be a long project. Uh, I, I guess I'll build it a nice wide stairway or whatever. So my dwarves have plenty of digging to do, and I'm hopefully gonna c yeah they're they're carrying all my junk over there. Um. Got my animals over there. We're probably hungry or something. Um, I've got a refuse stockpile there that I made earlier. I'm gonna order a few more trees cut down, like all the trees. Mm -hmm. And this should uh, work for a little while. I'm gonna need to build housing. Which is always unfortunate, because uh, housing is just so much work. I guess I'll start building some housing here. Um, no, I want to cancel that designation. Build. I'll build them nice, luxurious three by three houses. That's a fun size. Um, so th these will get mined out eventually. Um, but I also need to get my industry set up. So I don't know how this is all going to go. But I will figure out a way to make these dwarves do something stupider than ed most people can do. Right. So that'll get mined out eventually. And this will all get mined out eventually. And I'll probably go, uh, I don't know, cut that off and collapse it for fun. You know, because killing dwarves is entertaining. <laughs> I uh, probably shouldn't be taking this game that seriously. But on the other hand, this is Dwarf Fortress, so one should be very, very, very cautious about this game. Because dwarves are a scary thing to reckon with. What is what is what is what is that? Why is it purple? Monarch butterfly remains. Okay, that's exciting. The butterflies leave uh, large enough remains to be noteworthy. That's that's pretty scary. Now if they will hurry up and dig so I can do something. They're still digging. Because that's what dwarves do best. Let's get my stockpile room, eventually. We've got the dwarves digging and cutting wood, despite the fact that they don't really like sunlight all that much. We've got nobody idling, because they're all carrying barrels around. Look at that guy. It's a very productive dwarf. I'm going to need to build a door, so I'll need workshops. I should build room for workshops. Hmm. I guess I can start with it here. Whoops. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna want this. And, uh... Actually, I think... I think I'll just do this. Well, no, I'll leave it like that for a little bit. So that... It's the thing about workshops is that they're three by three which means it can be hard to place them all properly um, if you're not quite sure about what you're doing. So um, I figure I'll leave that as it is for 
<sighs> a few minutes until my dwarfs have done something with themselves, which appears to be taking a while. Okay, if they're digging, it'll take them a while to level up their uh, mining skill. I'm going to start dwarf therapist at some point, because otherwise I'll just be swamped when immigrants come. Idlers? Idlers? That is not acceptable. Why are they... There's still goods to be stored. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, no, Z. Stone workers, jewelers, and craft stores, nobles, that one's okay. This is very confusing because, you know, they're not doing anything exciting. Oh, good. Now I've got less idlers. But why do I have any? Is this? Okay, so this is my dump pile. Uh, I think there's a way to claim all of this faster. But I don't really care. So we'll use this for building material if they ever need it. Um, where are my mining dwarves? They haven't started work on the farm. Oh good, th they're down there working on that. And now they're thirsty. So they're coming over here for a drink. Because they enjoy drinking. Yay, dwarves. Yay, dwarves. You know, they actually get dehydrated, quotation marks, if they don't get enough alcohol to get them through the day. So, and then they die eventually. Or go insane and, you know, kill each other. So being a dwarf has its occupational hazards, I gotta say. Being a dwarf has occupational hazards. <sighs> Goddamn dwarves. I've had them do all sorts of crazy things. Um, which means that they are... They deserve all of the curses that I bestow upon them. I do wish that they would work faster. That being said, the game doesn't need to be any harder to micromanage. This game has a lot of micromanaging. <laughs> um, in fact, I wish I could do more micromanaging, but all of my guys appear to be idling. So I will dump all of these items, because they are untidy and get in the way of my stockpile. And stockpiles are important. Stockpiles are very important. You need them to live. Good, now there are no idlers. <laughs> and there are no idlers, I will have perfect efficiency. And we'll create a giant fortress civilization. Or run out of beer and get killed by elves and monsters. Either one works pretty well for me, I gotta say. Not gonna lie there. Okay, so he's digging that. Then I can build some industry once they're all done actually going to cancel the house digging for now, because I don't really need houses yet. Uh, the dwarves are going to be pretty content to sleep on the floor whenever they need to. They're very hardy creatures. <sighs> pardon me, pardon me. Every once in a while, you know, I just got to yawn. Or dance and sing, but yawning is a little bit more per preferable. So I've got my dude cutting down all that wood. It's nice of him. I'll use the wood eventually to make barrels or some junk. Um, mm. So my dwarves are now mining. Still mining. They do a lot of mining. Because they're dwarves. I think that's a recurring theme here. Dwarves dig. And like making rare objects and the like. So, uh... If I start rambling on about that too much, well, I'm I'm sorry. I suppose that's my fault. Uh, for all of those who are listening now, you, if you haven't subscribed, it would be awesome if you did. Uh, I'm not sure why, though. I mean, I don't really have any particular reason for doing this. I'm not looking for internet fame or anything. But subscribers is nice. It's like, it, you know, it's a little bit of an ego boost and is one more thing I can brag about. I'm like, oh, yeah, I have... You know, X thousand subscribers on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yep, very nice. Only I probably won't ever get more than like 30. I think I've got like, I don't know, 30. <laughs> but, um, 
but yeah, you know, feel free to message me and talk about how badly I micromanage my dwarves and all that crap. Because um, I'm not doing a good job micromanaging them. They're, they're being very slow about this. I wonder how my food supplies are doing. Mm, okay, it seems to be doing alright. I have like maybe 200 food. Maybe. Got a lot of dwarf dogs and cats. Mm. I know my spell being obsessed how it's a shrimp. Blah 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 blah. It's a dog. That's nice. It likes eating meat. That's nice. Cats are probably pretty similar. That's that that's nice. No one really cares. So they're clearing this out. And then it will all be good. For no real reason. Let's dump all the items. Well, I won't dump them yet. They can at least be built over, so it doesn't really matter, and it'll give them something to build with. Uh, I need to turn this back into stairways. I should build a food eating area. Dwarves love food eating areas. Like, really, they just they love them. Food eating areas. It's the next big dwarven thing. Okay, so they're still digging. No one's doing, any, ain't doing anything exciting. Oh, my cats and dogs are sitting right outside. And. They're still sitting right outside. The boring thing about Dwarf Fortress is that you have long periods of intense micromanaging followed by short moments of sheer terror when the goblins come and basically destroy everything you've ever made. That being said, it's a fun game. It's amazingly time consuming. But, uh, well, when one deals with that, for better or worse, and hopefully one manages to, you know, do something in their spare time besides play Dwarf Fortress. No, wait, hold on. Lizards. Raw turtle? Raw turtle? I am not pleased with this. I, I, now, how do I tell my cats to attack me? I know I will set a zone. And I will make it a pen pasture. And I will then assign a cat to it. Actually... Yeah, okay. I now have some cats assigned. Hopefully my cats will begin migrating. Yes, there they go. One. Wait. Wait. No. What are you doing, cat? Okay, so there's one cat. The other one. Two cats. So the cats are moving up there. Hopefully they'll eat the lizards. And turtles or whatever. Because, you know, I think that's kind of my goal for uh, cats. Is that they should... Wait, shit. Shit, shit, yeah. I just realized that by having my dwarves dig this out to be a farm, all the water, when they dig it out, is going to flood into my base. And that would be tragic, I think. Not really sure how tragic it would be, though. In fact, I'm kind of suspecting it wouldn't be all that tragic. So, yeah. Very, very tragic. Those dwarves digging into water. I could care less. I could care less. Ooh, are those diamonds? They're gems of some kind. Ah, onx opal clusters. Very shiny. Um, I'm using a texture pack. I forget which one. Um, but the texture packs are nice. Otherwise, this is an ASCI 2 graphics game. And it's close to impossible to figure out what's going on. More so than most other ASCI 2 games. Not because this game is inherently flawed or anything, but just because it's got s it's so information heavy. More so than most ASCI 2 games. So, let's build a workshop. I need a carpenter's workshop, C. So I'll put that over here at the end. I'll build it out of limestone because apparently I don't like um, 
well, I don't like making wood shops out of wood. I'll build the other things out of limestone as well, but that's just cause maybe that's just because I have a lot of limestone. Or it's a conspiracy. Or both. Conspiracy to remove all limestone from my game. Dig, 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 dig. Happy little dwarves. Hmm. Now, one question that I have for anyone who watches this, and please, if you, if you, if you listen to this part, leave a comment and answer my question. Do you just want me to, you know, have a, an insanely huge log, of, or a, a insanely huge let's play series of this one dwarf fortress, or should I, I don't know, play a few hours after this and then, you know, record again, and give you guys an update so you're not totally bored by this. I hopefully one of you will uh, <laughs> answer my question before I play again. But if not, I don't know. I might err on the side of caution. I might not. Or I might not, period. Just because, well, who wants to do what other people say? That being said, you know, uh, psychological reactance, which is a fancy way of saying reverse psychology, is a really interesting concept. You know, the concept that other people don't like doing what you want them to do. And if they think that you're restricting their freedoms or whatever they act against it etc so I don't know it's just a thought just a thought just a thought I think <sighs> I'm going to call it quits for today um, this has been another exciting fun very very fun though not super fun yet not real fun not Dwarf Fortress fun, but this has been another exciting Let's Play. Cheers. <laughs>